Hi guys, it's Chrissy here and welcome back to Regain Your Confidence. Today is going to be another Birchbox um, unboxing. Now I know what you're saying, I just did one earlier this month. You know what, I was late coming out with that video, I, <laughs> so my apologies. So I won't usually do two in one month, so um, hopefully this will be the only time you're gonna see two Birch boxes in one month. So this is going to be the August box that actually I just got like a, I think I got uh, about two days ago. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I got. And I also want to do a review on the last box because I did get a chance to try some of those products. And actually, I think I have one or two products from either my June or July, I don't remember which one it came in, but um, from one of those boxes, um, a review on that, uh, on those products because I've been trying those. And there's some that I really like and some that I don't like too much. So um, yeah, and I know I might look kind of different because I don't usually wear bright pink lipstick, but there's a reason why I have this on. And hopefully it's not on my teeth because <laughs> that would be really embarrassing. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the August box and um, let's see let's see what we got this time. So I'm gonna go get my scissors and we're gonna go open this box together. And again, for some of you that um, didn't see my previous video and you're not familiar with Birchbox. Again, it's just a monthly subscription service. You pay $10 a month and um, you do your profile online and they send you products um, like makeup products, hair products, according to your profile, like what things that you like. Like if you want mostly um, cosmetics, they'll send you mostly cosmetics, but you can kind of mix it up. And uh, But yeah, so you get to try a lot of stuff, which is kind of nice. And it's only $10 a month, which is not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And I'm always afraid I'm gonna cut myself when I do this because it ain't too good with the scissors. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut my pants. That I'd be really upset if I did that. Oh, good lord. All right, got it open. So let's uh, see. Their boxes are always cute and you wanna keep them because they're so cute. This is this month's box. And you guys can see that. Isn't that cute? Really cute. Okay, let's see what's inside. All right, so they send you cards that kind of tell you the prices and everything of the products. And it says, soak it up as summer peaks, Tim, I can't see it. I do have my contacts on, but it's still kind of hard to see. Anyway, it says soak it up, so. I'm sure it's for summer. And let's see, oh, ooh, I'm excited. I shouldn't have peeked though, because then that is losing the element of surprise. Okay, so they have, don't sweat it, for bright eyes that can outlast the heat, try Marcel's, 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 uh, mini waterproof eyeliner kit for just $18 or $35 value, that's not bad. Oh, I've tried their eyeliners. Well, that's another thing. I actually don't, I didn't put it in my stuff, but really good eyeliners. Um, Marcel, is it Marcel? It's gotta be Marcel. I hope I'm saying that right. And this is Don't Sweat It. For bright eyes. Wait, I just read that. <laughs> anyway, oh, I'm losing it. Let's see what's in the box. Okay, what is this? This is a sh I don't know what this is. Chlorine? Laboratories, shampooing. Okay, it's another language. Okay, here we go. It's dry shampoo, cool, with oat milk. Ooh, okay, the brand is, I don't know if that's the brand. Let me look at the card, because <laughs> give wrong information. Yeah, chlorine, chlorine, I think it's chlorine. And that's, I guess the regular price for this is $20. And it's a dry shampoo, so I can't wait to try this because I do use this. My kids, we all use dry shampoos, and I don't like the white chalky ones. I don't know if any of you guys have tried that, but that leave like that white cast in your hair. I don't like those. So hopefully this doesn't have that. And yeah, we're gonna try that. What is this? This is 3D Effect Flash Cream Radiant Primer. Ooh, always looking for good primers. It has SPF 15, natural glow, healthy complexion. With that, and this regular price or regular size is $28. And it says, create primer creates a smooth, luminous canvas for makeup. So we'll see if it does. 
The next one, I was so hoping that I was gonna get this because they usually sometimes, not usually, I don't know, because I've only been doing this, this is my fourth box, so. They, they have sent me, um, I was a little too late sending the reply back, so I couldn't, sometimes you can customize it a little more, they give you a choice of a certain product, like if you want, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want that product, <clears throat> If you want that product um, or you want another product in it, you can choose sometimes if you respond back in enough time, which I tried to do it, but it wouldn't go through in any way. I missed it, so I knew that this was one of them and I really wanted this. So I was hoping that I would get it and I got it. So yay, I'm happy for that. This is called Gradual Tan In Shower, Saint Tropez. So it's an in shower tanning lotion, which I have never heard of an in shower tanning lotion. So I'm excited to use this and we'll see if it works. And the regular, the, for, let's see, the price for this is, where is it? $25, which is not bad. I don't think, cause say for really good ones or any kind of self tanner, uh, they can be kind of pricey. So uh, I was expecting it to be more like 38. So um, yeah, so I'll be giving you guys an update on how this stuff works. So now is the little box inside the box. Okay. Why when I do this I feel like I'm old because I'm going blind because why can't I see this stuff that great? I don't know. I'm not that old. So anyway, it's called... Why do all these things have weird names? I feel like I, I totally am illiterate when I pull these things out. Scalisi Skincare. Scalisi. I hope I'm saying that right. Anti-aging moisturizer. Ooh, it's kind of small though. I mean, a little small, but um, scientifically proven to reduce the appearance of wrinkles by up to 45% in eight weeks. So give me, see, I need a bigger size than that. If it's gonna reduce my wrinkles, I wanna take a bath in it. So this is a little small, but we'll see how it works. We'll see if it's actually moisturizing and if it doesn't break me out. A lot of things break me out, so um, yeah, not cool. And this, oh see, <laughs> all right, and this costs, whoa, expensive, $65. I'm thinking it's probably really good if it costs that much, right? I wish they'd sent me more <laughs> because I more than likely will not purchase this because it's $65. But I don't know if it's like a miracle and like I wake up in the morning and I have no wrinkles, then I might spend $65. So, nah, probably not. All right, what's this? Ooh, Balm Desert. Bronzer blush. I was hoping I would get this too. It's really tiny though. <laughs> it's really small. Okay, this regular price is um, $21. That's not too bad. So it's a blush and bronzer in one. This velvety powder gives a long lasting fresh from the beach glow. So we'll see if it does. It's really small though. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look how small that is. That is be good. I got some really good stuff. I'm really happy with this box. Everything in here, I am ex really excited to try. I think I'm excited to try this one and see if it works. And I got a lot of skincare stuff this time. Yeah, so that was this month. That was this month. That was this month. Birch box. The month of August birch box. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. And right now I'm gonna do some reviews on the previous boxes that I have received. Because I'm sure you guys wanna know. You don't just wanna see me open it, you kinda wanna see if the products are good, right? And you can go on their website too and look up reviews, but it's kinda nice to actually see the product and maybe see it applied if it's a cosmetic and you know, you can make the decision whether you like it or not. Well, the first thing that I'm gonna, I am going to talk about is, which is on my lips. And this is, I talked about this in the last Birch Box because it was in the July Birch Box and it's the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Bella. And I absolutely love the formula of this. It, it, stays all day. I mean, it literally stays on all day. And I really thought when I saw it, I'm like, yeah, it'll probably stay on half the day and I probably won't like it because it'll be all chunky and nasty or sticky or whatever on my lips. But no, I really like, or like super drying because a lot of the stay all day um, lipsticks are super, super drying. 
It is a little drying. You just need to put lip balm on um, before you put it on, but I don't think it's all that drying, like super, super drying. So, and, and it stays on all day. You might have to touch it up just a little bit throughout the day, like after you eat or whatever, so you like don't have food stuck to it because that's really gross. So um, I highly recommend this. I love it. The color is really bright, and I do, I, I do like this one. And so one thing, it's $24, I believe. Um, I'll link everything down below if I'm wrong on the price, but I think it's around $24, which I think is pretty expensive for a lipstick. But honestly, I am willing to pay for one that I really, really love and I'm gonna use every day. Like this, I wouldn't buy the full size in this color because I'm not gonna wear it very often, so um, it's a good thing I have a small one. But uh, yeah, but a neutral color that I'm gonna wear every day, I, I think I will. I mean, I was going to, I went to buy it the other day and they didn't have it, so I was kind of bummed about that. Very cheery. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next one. The next one I wanna talk about, and don't mind, it's kind of dirty, I've had this. I think I got this in my, oh, just dropped. I think I got this in my June. It was, uh, it was the May or June, I don't remember, but it's the, the Well People Expressionist Mascara, and I absolutely love this. It is, um, I believe it's made from all natural ingredients. I'm not sure what, I didn't look it up yet, but it did say um, all natural ingredients. And the price is, I have it written down here because I can't remember, uh, how much was it? $23, it was $23, so uh, it is. I haven't bought it yet, which is kind of steep for mascara, but this is really good mascara. It doesn't clump your lashes, it makes them look natural, but like beautifully long, like your eyelashes are naturally gorgeous and long and full without looking like you have false eyelashes on, but kind of looking like, wow, does she have false eyelashes on? Because those can't be her real eyelashes, but they don't look like false lashes, you know what I mean? And I show it to you, but it's that whatever plastic, I don't know what that is, but it gets dirty. All your makeup gets all over it, and I don't, I don't like the packaging because of that, but I love the product, so I highly recommend that. Again, it's Well People Expressionist Mascara, and I'll try. And the next one, I think this might have came in the same box as the mascara, and I love this too. It's the Visanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator, and it's exfoliating cleanser enriched with papaya, microcrystals, and aloe. My face feels so good after I use this. It feels, it doesn't feel like dry or stripped or anything like that, like some products can make you feel. My face feels hydrated. My face just feels so soft and hydrated and good when I use this. I love it. And it, this lasted me a good while, this little, this little sample here. But if you want a cleanser, and this did not break me out, if you want a cleanser that makes your face feel really, really good, beautifully exfoliated and soft and it's just wonderful. This, I highly recommend this. This was a good product. And this is $34, so a little bit more. And you're not supposed to use it every day, I believe. It's just, uh, it says you can use it three to five times a week. So uh, that that's what, I follow the directions. I didn't use it every day and I love it. And so let's see, I, let's see, I have a couple more products here. This one also is the, oh, there's that name again. Marcel, it's Marcel, I think it's Marcel. BB Cream Golden Glow Skin Enhancer. This did not break me out, which I was really happy about. And I like it. I've been using it as a primer to go under my uh, my foundation and it's working. I mean, I don't see any, any negative effects, it's not, but I don't see like, wow, you know. You can wear this, uh, yeah, this was a good product. So far I've liked this brand. Whatever, everything I've got from this brand, I have liked. And all right, my last one I believe that I have for you guys is, oh, it just dropped. Actually, it's my last like positive review. <laughs> so it's the Kula Makeup Setting Spray. All right, we're gonna talk about the good things first. What I loved about this was it is such a fine mist when it comes out. It's not like some of those setting sprays that you spray and it's like just having a squirt bottle in your face. This is so fine, and it seems like as soon as it hits the skin, it's just like, oh, it's like dry, you know? And I think like the, the way it sets on your makeup is so pretty, I loved it. So far, this has been my favorite out of, I've tried like the Urban Decay, and um, I've tried the, uh, uh, the Final Seal by Ben Nye. Anyway, this, and, and like the ones from the L'Oreal one, which I, I use that one a lot. This one though, 
like I said, I loved it. I love the way it sat on my skin. It, I loved it for that. And, uh, but it broke me out. So it was so sad. And I'm sure it's the sunscreen in it. My skin does not like sunscreen. I always break out when I put it on my face. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm having some residual uh, stuff going on from some of the products that I have been trying and it has made me break out, which I was not happy about. And this was one of them, unfortunately, because I, I loved it. But um, it is a good product, but like I said, made, made me break out. And the next product I actually don't physically have, so I will actually insert a picture somewhere of it, because it was in the last, the one, um, the July birch box that I just um, opened. So uh, it was, let me think, what was it called? Dr. Jart, the Dr. Jart Beauty Balm. And it wasn't like the medium dark, I think it was called. It was way too dark for me, um, for one, and it, totally made me break out. Totally, 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 totally. It was awful. So I don't know what's in it that, that made me break out like that, but I said, forget it. I'm not using this stuff anymore. The good thing about it was, there was it gave a lot of coverage. I was impressed with the coverage for a beauty balm for BB cream. So I, I was impressed with that. Um, other than that, I can't use it because it totally made me break out and I gave it to my sister to see if she, she might like it. So that's why I don't physically have it because I'm like, take it. I think that's it. So most of the stuff I've been liking, there's, there's been a few that have not uh, worked out so well with my skin type, but that doesn't mean it won't work for you guys. So some of these products you might want to go out and try. And like I said, the Stila, I love it. I love the lipstick. So highly recommend that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, please subscribe if you guys like my videos and I will see you guys next time on Regain Your Confidence. Bye.